Right, hello there everyone, welcome back to James Redmond TV and breaking news, James Redmond is the new manager of Liverpool Football Club. First and foremost guys, I just want to say thank you for the opportunity. I was told that it was based on the fact that we weren't looking at any other managers. Uh, Xabi Alonso was a candidate, he said nah. Uh, Ruben Amarim was a candidate, he's going to West Ham United from the seams of things, of the likes of David Ornstein and, 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 and Fabrizio Romano, so you're left with James Redmond. Who's got the first question? This is the situation that we're leading to, guys. We're leading into a world where James Redmond, the beautiful, the ever almighty, the smartest, James Redmondinho, is going to be more likely to be the Liverpool manager than Ruben Amarim. Based on recent reports suggesting that we're not looking to sign the 39-year-old wonder manager, which, by the way, I believe he very well could be. Um, now, does that mean just because he's got potential, he's the best transition from Klopp to Amarim? Maybe not, but I thought it would have been a very good transition. And I'm surprised to see these reports from the likes of David Ornstein to say that, well, one, there was never a deal agreed. And even when the deal was reported to be agreed, yes, it was reliable journalists reporting it. But what is today's news is not tomorrow's news. And of course, it was never official, but it could have been verbal. Apparently, it wasn't verbal. It wasn't official. In fact, it was never even close. And... This shouldn't be a surprise because Liverpool literally keep every last friggin' detail about this football club to themselves, not allowing the fans to have any sort of inclination, which there's pros and cons to that. You know, the pros are is that nobody knows your business, therefore they can't interfere with your business. But there has also been times where it's gone against us and I think not having a public affection for a certain manager can be quite problematic because then it makes it seem to them you're keeping your options open, which is obviously a good thing to do. But then at the same time, you've got to be considering the next manager probably wants to have an idea. I am going to be at Liverpool Football Club next season. And we are currently in April and yet we don't have a choice. Or do we? Now, this next choice, I don't really like the sound of. But a certain person called Jose Mourinho turns up to our game against Fulham. Now, unless that Fulham are looking to appoint Jose Mourinho as a rather unusual appointment as the fact that Fulham are doing really, really well. They've got a really good team. And unless they just think, right, now we've got a big, massive wage budget to go and spend and a big, massive transfer budget. Let's go and bring in the big guns. I don't see Jose Mourinho being a likely candidate nor replacement. For one, a club like Fulham. And two, when Fulham are doing well. Why is Jose Mourinho coming to a Fulham game? As far as I know, he's never been a Fulham fan. In fact, I know that Fulham and Chelsea have got quite a rivalry. So I can't imagine there's any association of him being there for Fulham. Liverpool needs a new manager. We are two months away from it. And Jose Mourinho is the closest thing of a sacked manager or a free agent manager who has been associated with this football club in a direct way. I haven't seen Amarim come to a Liverpool game. Fair enough, he's currently managing. I haven't seen Alonso come to a Liverpool game. Fair enough. And even the ludicrous idea that we might want to appoint Jose Mourinho, which I would only have to assume I don't think we would do that. And I hope we wouldn't do that. But then you do have to ask the question... Jose Mourinho has got the most legs to stand on based on the fact he's just came to a game when he's a completely free agent manager against Fulham. It weren't like this was a classic. It weren't like this was Liverpool City or Liverpool and Chelsea and he's came to watch the game. Why is Jose Mourinho turning up to a football match that has nothing to do with him? I'm not against... If I want to go and see Newcastle versus Sunderland, I have every right to go and do that because I'm a football fan and that's a big game and it might be a great occasion. Jose Mourinho has that same right, but notice the difference. I'm saying Newcastle Sunderland. I'm saying how weird the fuck and Reds, man. Well, not the Reds, black and whites. But I might do Reds and whites, I'm not too sure. I, I, I like Joe Bellingham, but then I don't. Jack Clark's all right from Sunderland. Newcastle, kind of the money grabbers. Who am I going to go? I like Newcastle more historically, but I'll go with Sunderland now because, you know, Newcastle are going to buy their success. I think 
it would be ludicrous to say Jose Mourinho is going to be the next Liverpool manager. I also would have to then admit in the very next sentence, he is probably the closest candidate based on the information that we've seen. Bear in mind, Xabi Alonso is ruled out. Amarim is ruled out. Pep Linders is ruled out. And only Jose Mourinho has any sort of association of being in contact with Liverpool Football Club indirectly or directly. I am confused because why would he be at the game? If Liverpool are keeping this on the down low, then why is Jose Mourinho the only one to have come close? And bear in mind, the most reliable journalists have said, Xabi Alonso rules out. Xabi said it himself. Ruben Amarim, David Ornstein is now saying that is ruled out. David Ornstein is one that you can trust. Now, does that mean that's 100% categorically going to mean that we don't end up getting Amarim? No. But is it unlikely? I would say the information we know of says yes, it is unlikely. So now let's assume we're not getting Xabi Alonso. Well, we know we're not getting him. And let's be 95% sure we're not getting Amarim. I haven't really seen many other names listed. Nagelsmann. He's going to be staying at Germany. Hansi Flick hasn't been mentioned once. Thomas Tuchel. Still at Bayern Munich. Don't think that we'd want to go and get him. That only leaves one man who I've only seen in a game for Liverpool when it was a game that he had no affiliation with and that was Jose Mourinho. From the normal one to the special one. I can go into a 10-minute segue to why I don't want that to happen. But what I will say is this, is that if we do end up getting Jose Mourinho, I would be ultimately God, God, gobsmacked. And I, I'm going to stay on the stance that we should not be looking into the fact Jose Mourinho came to one of our games, as odd as it was. He could have been there for a nice day out to have a couple of sangrias with his wonderful family. But I'm going to disagree that he thought, you know what, I'm going to go, I've got... Way more things to turn down below going to a Fulham versus Liverpool match and receiving some Fulham hospitality. Don't mind if I diddly do. Now, with it being a Fulham, maybe that could be something else. Maybe he's there to look at Fulham. I'd be gobsmacked if we got Jose Mourinho because I'm seeing more reports. Being a little bit more leaning towards he's actually being considered. And let's say he is even being considered. That in itself is... Crazy, rather concerning, don't know what to do or make of that, to be honest. Now, if Joe, Jose Mourinho gets to a club with that that's being well run, he's, he's historically done quite well. Chelsea done really well when they were being run correctly. Porto, when they were being run correctly, they done well. Um, there's definitely substance and value in a Jose Mourinho being manager, but do I want it to happen now at this point of his career when he's gone this long without being a major European manager or a top European manager? A good European manager, but not necessarily one of the world's best. You know, you can't say just winning the Europa League with 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 with, with Roma or the, or the European Conference League with Roma is a significant achievement, especially in the comparison. You know, otherwise, let's just go and get Unai Emery. I hope it doesn't happen, but it is being linked. And they're the only legs that I've got, so I'm only coming to you with the information that I've got so far. Don't get me wrong, Jose Mourinho would be like great for press conferences because he's funny, but I've noticed he's a bit of a... Um, what's the... Not a whore. What is he? He's a, what's, what's the dog where it's breeded with loads of dogs? I'm basically trying to say, I don't know why I came to whore as well. Jose Mourinho, you're not a whore. You might be a whore, but I wouldn't know that, so I'm not going to call you a whore. You might go and be, you know, a whore in your own time. That's maybe why you go to loads of different clubs. I don't know. But I don't want to make the false accusation that Jose Mourinho is a whore because I've got no substantiality to say that he is a whore and therefore I don't want to make the official claim, Jose Mourinho, you are a whore. Even though you could be a whore and if you are a whore, fair play, sir. As long as you're a respectful whore, that's great. But I'm not going to call you a whore because I've got no information to say that you're a whore. In conclusion, Jose Mourinho is someone who's had many different clubs, many different managers, and he doesn't really build a direct relationship with the fan base. Okay, you might like him and all this stuff, and yes, he does all this and he does all this. And I think Jose Mourinho would really like the Liverpool job. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. But then if so, and I could be just talking about nothingness here. I'm just going off the premise that Xabi Alonso, not coming. Amarim, not coming. Who else is coming? 
Jose Mourinho, he is someone who I just don't think would suit Liverpool based on the history. Plus, he was talking about Manchester United just a couple of weeks ago, saying I would be interested in that job. So let's just hope it's not him. But it's not probably going to be Amarim no more, which has surprised me, and I want to know what you think about that. And then also, Xabi Alonso is not going to be coming to the club. Who's it going to be, guys? Because I don't know. I don't know. I am Jose Mourinho. Oh, no. I don't want that in the press conferences. No, thank you. Um, thank you for watching. I would have a boss day. Liverpool, get me a manager. Please, mate. Jürgen Klopp extension? No. No, that won't happen either. Or we can go back to the start of this video. Breaking news. James Redmond, the manager of Liverpool Football Club. Insider information. <laughs>